Hi, welcome or welcome back. This is Breathe and Budget and my name is Taryn. We talk about all things finance related on this channel, how I use the zero-based budget method, cash envelopes, as well as fund savings challenges to meet my financial goals. So if that is of interest to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, say hi in the comments, and let's get into today's video. you guys it is uh early morning everyone in my house is sleeping so i'm not talking very loud so i'm hoping it's still like coming across on the recording so we will see when i edit but we are going to do a quick cash stuffing this is for the first week of january so my december 30th check will be used to fund january just because it's at the end of the month i just use that to cover the bills that are due within that like first week of january so we are going to go ahead and start with my essentials binder and get that going. I didn't change too much about the essentials binder except for my pets. I did make changes to how I'm going to cash stuff for my pets, but I didn't really adjust anything else for the 2024 year. So far, I feel like we're good. Um, I will be increasing my dining out and some of my spending this month because my daughter has a surprise getaway for me mid-January, just her and I, and I have absolutely no idea where we're going or what we'll need. So I just wanted to be financially prepared. Um, she's only 15 and a half, so I don't know if she thought ahead. I mean, she thought enough to like pay for, schedule, reserve, whatever she needed to do, but I don't know if she thought about like, how are we going to eat when we get there? <laughs> gas to get there so I just increased a little bit but that's just for January so it wasn't necessarily like for my 2024 okay so let's jump right in to my personal spending um these are my new envelopes it's not the vellum it's cardstock uh, I love it I I love the starlight on the white cardstock to me it reminds me of like glistening snow see oh i love it okay let's go into my well, actually yeah my spending i'm gonna just do two 20s mm, let me pick the nicer of the two because again if i don't spend them they will be going into savings challenges and then i did a five so i'm just gonna start off I mean, this is not a five, and I said five and grabbed a ten. I'm going to start off with 50. So what I've decided, I'm going to put 50 a week into my personal spending rather than 100 the first check and 100 the second check. So my husband, he's going to get his typical 100 a week, and I just do all 20s for him. And he, um, surprisingly, if you watched my end-of-month check-in, he has some good rollover, 220 to be exact. Let's see, how many do I have here? One more. Okay. So he's starting off the year with a nice little cushion here. So I don't know if he's pulled from it since I had filmed my end of month check-in. I don't think so, but let's see what he has now. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20. Yeah, he hasn't touched it. So now he has 320. And we're good um, keeping those 20s in there, especially with the matte vellum. I love my Starlight and it is the most popular and I will not stop offering it, but I suggest the matte if you want one that is... Um, one, going to have a longer lifespan. Two, I mean, glossy is easy to clean too, but so is the, the matte. Like if you even get like a little smudge, just take a, like a damp washcloth and like rub it off and then it'll dry. But I, and I love how it feels, but I, I prefer the matte if you're looking for something that's going to long, like last you longer. Um, with the starlight, because it's glossy laminate, you can have some like splitting on the edge over time, especially if you overstuff and you don't condense or use placeholders, which is why I always recommend that. And I do offer placeholders in my shop, but you can literally just 
post it, put an amount and stick it in there as your placeholder. You don't have to spend the money on these like extras that I would say. Um, for me personally, having nicer stuff to cash stuff with is actually motivational for me. And it makes me want to cash stuff. It makes me want to save. If you have the opposite effect and you are doing it from a place of just like wanting or needing to spend, you don't have to do that. Okay. Like regular envelopes, write the category on the front, post it's for your placeholders, you're good to go. Okay. So then I did dining out. The other ones I'm going to fund on another paycheck. So dining out is going to get 100. So 20, 40, 60, and then I did 80, and I did two tens. I got some pretty decent bills this time, even though it was just generated like from the machine, it like pops out for the teller. Um, I was pleasantly surprised with the bills. I did not do my typical intro like counting of cash in this video, but I'm just kind of like pressed for time right now. And I have so much I need to film that I don't normally have to film that I just feel kind of a little bit rushed. So nails is gonna get 130 because our appointment is actually this morning, part of why I feel rushed. And um, I have enough in there for mine, but I need to add for my daughter's. Gosh, these fives are so crisp. I almost might like switch that five out and keep the crisp ones. All right, so we should have 260. Let's see. All right, I'm not even sure what we're doing. My daughter said she's gonna help pick my nails just based on like where we're going in January. So. I don't even know what I'll wind up with. So we have 150, 170, 190, 210, 220, 230, 240, 250, 260. So I'm actually not gonna put that in there because that's gonna go into my wallet. So I'm gonna put that to the side because that has to go with us today. And then I think, yeah, kids is gonna get 50. So I did a 20. And three tens. I'll put another 50 later because you guys know I do $100 a month in the kids. This is basically like, sure, why not? If they ask for something, I'll pull from here. Or if we wind up going over like on dining out, um, I'll pull from here because they are one of the biggest reasons we eat out. They love it. They love the ambience of restaurants as well. Um, obviously, they get that from me. But They'll ask, and if I don't have quite enough in dining out, I will pull from their envelope, which they know I do. We discuss it. Um, some people would be like, well, it's not up to them. You're the parent. I get that. But I actually involve my children in a lot of things, and I give them options and choices, obviously limited to what I'm okay with. And I like to hear their opinion on things uh, because then we can discuss if it's maybe kind of a distorted idea or um, maybe an immature idea because obviously they're still kids that we can then discuss it. And then I also like to be transparent about my finances with them because I feel like that's going to help build like good money habits for them in the future. Whereas in my household, it was like really taboo to talk about that stuff. We didn't talk about that stuff. Um, were my parents wrong for that? No, I think that was just like the times. Um, but I do think that I probably would never have gone into credit card debt and I would have been a lot more wiser with my money had we had those discussions. So we talk about that in this house. So that's it for the essentials binder. Um, again, like I said, one of the things that changed was my pets. So let me show you those changes. Move this to the side. All right, so we're going to go into my high priority binder. Um, I've made a couple adjustments in this binder in terms of like removing a couple envelopes. I still need to make my earthquake policy envelope. That's what that money is. Um, but I have quite a bit in my high priority and I will be going over these categories in a video, which I may or may not have posted before this. Uh, I'm just doing recording in random orders, but like what my categories are and why I chose them, I think that's important. 
So welcome to my new pet envelopes. So this is something completely different, uh, not something I offer in my shop, although I don't know if anyone was interested. It would only be the mat. I would not offer it in Starlight, um, but to add images, you would just send me your image and then I would, you know, remove the background, place it appropriately, accordingly, whatever, on the cash envelope. So I was having a hard time just putting $100 to pets every month and then not feeling like I had enough. So I really sat down and I did the math. Like how much money do we spend on Atlas and his food? How much do we spend on, this is Raja and this is Phoenix. They eat the same food and they're not on a special diet. Pippa, she's the cat that we took in. Um, my grandparents had passed away and I'm the only one in the family that would be willing or able to take her we have a lot of allergies in the rest of that like family so I there was no way I was letting her go to the shelter that was a uh, non-negotiable so I took her but Pippa is has a very sensitive stomach and um, we've taken her to the vet for it and um they did an x-ray and she has like a ton of gas TMI I know so we're like giving her this like liquid before she eats and hopefully it passes but we have to like mix her her wet food, which is totally different, very like much more expensive than regular, just typical cat food. We mix that with, you know, like, um, like canned chicken too, to help her like eat it. So she has a special diet. Oh, you hear Coco in the background. That's Coco. The one you hear, uh, she wants out of my office. I might need to open my door. Coco is on a special diet because she, she was one of the reasons we had depleted, uh, the pet emergency fund. So I actually figured that out too. I have fully funded that four times, this last time being the fourth. She's on a special diet because she gets like um, like bladder stones, like they're crystallized and she had to have surgery to remove them. And so now she has to be on this special food that will make it so she does not develop them anymore. And so I get that from Chewy. It's a hundred dollars a bag. And like the bag is not big at all. Um, but she doesn't eat too, too much. It seems to last us a while. So I did the math and I figured out when I could push that subscription out so it doesn't ship as often and how much I needed to save each month to make sure I had the money for when it was time. Let me let Coco out. All right, and so this is our Jurassic Park. I'll explain that in a second. But we have red-eared sliders. We have a crested gecko. We have a bearded dragon. This is Dora and Diego. This is Krunk. This is Hunter. And this is just a couple of the goldfish and koi that we have. So we do have two koi and we have like, I think, four big goldfish. And they are named after Jurassic Park. So we have Owen. We have Echo, you know, Delta, Charlie, um, and well, I think it's Charlie. This one ate Charlie. I don't know how it happened because we have them completely separate, but he's a really good escape artist. So since then we have reinforced even more, but he was swimming around in there and he, yeah, it was really sad. I'm, I don't want to talk about it. I literally cried. I know most people were like, it is just a fish. No, it's actually not. Every single one of my babies are my babies. They're my family. I love them. Uh, and it was honestly traumatizing to see him the, in the condition that he was in because he still survived uh, and then eventually passed. So it it was honestly heartbreaking. I, I can't even tell you. I had already had this envelope, the adventure gear for Alice. Then I did flea prevention and I did vet appointments. Okay, so I did the math for the flea prevention. We get those at Sam's Club. It's like an eight month supply. That would be like $44 each for the cats and, and then the one for the dog. So eight months supply. So I have to fully fund that this month to purchase it because we need them. But then I know what I need to save every month to have it. Okay, so right now, just for this paycheck, um, I'm going to go ahead and add um, $50. And let's see, 30 what did I do? Hold on. Oh, I did 120. 120. I did two tens. Yeah, two tens. And I did two fives. But I want these in my savings challenge. So I'm going to pull a 10 instead of the fives and just figure out that denominations. So what I think I'm going to do. I'll put 20 in Atlas, 
I'll just figure out like how much I put into each one so that when I cash stuff the next time, you know, I will know what to do. I'll put ooh, 10. These are brand new, like hot off the press. So they have not been stuffed before. So I'll put 10 in Phoenix and Rajas. I'll put 10 in Pippa's. And then I'm going to put 10 in Coco's. When it comes to our Jurassic Park, I had bought a huge bag of koi and goldfish food for like 160 bucks. And so I know that bag is going to last us, I don't know, maybe even all of 2024. I'm not even joking. It's huge. And then they all have enough food. So I don't have to worry about putting money in there right away. Like, they're good. Um, and then Adventure Gear, mm, probably start picking up the pace on that maybe towards April because uh, the things that I want to get him would be for when it's a little bit warmer weather. Like right now it's super gloomy, raining. Um, we take him to like the park nearly every day, but there are just certain days where we stay home. He doesn't want to be outside. So this is the new savings challenge that I created. It is going to be used to fund our flooring. Um, what flooring... I don't know because my daughter pointed out, I told her it's like to replace the floor and she said, how about the ones in the bathroom first? How about the ones in the laundry room first? That should, you should fill this up, pay for those. Then you could start over and do the regular floors because they still look great. And she's right. They do look great. So I'm actually not sure which flooring because she got my brain like thinking about it when she said that. But this is my 52 week challenge. It is available in my shop. You'll get the dashboard. So this is not an envelope. This is just the dashboard. Um, it is the starlight. And then you do get 13 envelopes. So you get one for each month all the way to December. And then I also offer a bonus envelope with scratch-offs. So you just scratch it off. And then each of these are envelopes. So January. They are double laminated. Um, on the back, the front, you will feel the cardstock because that's so thick. I didn't want to add an extra piece of laminate like I normally would, but they are very sturdy. Um, I made the sides a little bit bigger because I just, you know, depending on how you fund these in terms of the dollar amounts, like this one for January, you have to save 10 bucks. But if you do it in $1 bills, like you're going to have more bills in here. I chose to not do that. So I'm literally just going to put... These, that's why I kept these two fives, three fives, um, because they're so crisp. These like are really, these bills I recommend when you're doing like your savings challenges. If you can at all, like swap out bad bills for not, I don't want to say bad, but like uh, disgusting <laughs> bills for like the nicer ones, I would recommend it. So I'm actually going to just fully fund my January for this challenge right now. Put the $10 in there. So that's my 52 week challenge. And now, I cannot find her anywhere anymore. Her Instagram, her YouTube hasn't been updated in a couple months. Her Instagram is gone. Her her business page is gone. I don't know what happened. Um, so I can't even link it. And I would not recommend going to her site because when I did, um, it's hawaiimomdesigns.com. Um, my phone kept telling me not to proceed, that the integrity or like the certificate of that website was compromised. But I had purchased this from her because, again, you guys know I like to su support small businesses. I just put the tissue paper in there until I fill it up. I purchased this envelope set. I don't even know how many envelopes are in here. We don't do the math. But you would save 2550 in these various denominations. I had already started saving for my um, emergency savings. That's what this is going to be for for that six months emergency savings. So I just transferred it over to here and funded the hundred. Um, she doesn't round the corners, but you can see I started, I'm gonna start rounding them just because I don't know if like I hurt myself on ones that are not rounded. I don't know if y'all are like that, but I hurt myself. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the 42, but I'm gonna try not to do Let me see if I can save that spot. I'm going to try not to do ones because I don't, again, I want to ensure that these don't like split. She does make the sides a little bit thicker, but I just want to make sure that I'm 
preserving its integrity. So I'm just going to do 45. And I might do that. So it means that I will actually wind up saving more than the 2550 if I don't do ones. Like when I get to the $2 envelope or the $4 envelope, I will probably just throw a $5 bill in. So we'll see. Okay. I can do this. I could do hard things. Yep. Okay. Now let me... Let's mark 42. Perfect. All right, you guys. So that is it for today's cash stuffing. I am super excited for the new year because we have our um, car, home, and pet emergency funded. I am now able to work on other fun savings challenges, including the one I created and also the ones that I purchased from other small businesses because I like to support all of y'all. I There's so many, but I'm, I just made another purchase yesterday from Spooky Budgets for some A5 savings challenges. I have an A5 binder that's not being used and I was like, let's start using it. I like the idea of the A5 like scratch off challenges. So when those come in, I will do like an unboxing and show you guys. I'm super excited for them. So that is it for today. I hope that you guys have a beautiful day and I hope this video in some way encourages you to start saving. Doesn't matter what it is. Start change, uh, start, change, start saving your change. Save every dollar bill you come across or every $5 bill you come across. It doesn't matter how you do it. Um, I even encourage you today, go ahead, pick a dollar amount, take that money, whatever envelope you want to take it from or where, wherever, whatever source you want to take it from. I want you to take it and I want to, I want you to put it towards a savings goal. And then please go ahead in the comments and let me know how much you saved and what you're putting it towards. And that will also let me know that you are so fabulous and you've watched this entire video, which I totally appreciate. We are almost at a thousand subscribers, which will then prompt a giveaway. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.